<laughs> hi everybody welcome to the juicy naile channel um you here with me the girl that spills the juice in this channel so um you know what day it is today so you know what day it is you know what day it is today is monday juice day and i am here to spill some juice honey so um if you are new if you are new in our channel please subscribe please subscribe you can't say no to that please subscribe and if you are a regular the real ogs of this channel i love you and thank you so much for watching okay um before we get into it you know what i think our videos are always formal and i would really like to do a little bit of casual stuff because i feel like everything in this channel is standard if you guys like um the idea oh uh, uh, if you guys like the idea of me actually doing something i was thinking maybe some cooking yeah now we'll see how do we do the cooking in this mama Rudy's house or grocery shopping or some vlogs man or something else that's casual just hanging with the friends or the sis or whatever please let me know on the comment section if you'd like like chilled um vlogs and not this sit up and uh, serious videos so anyway let's get into it today's topic please don't ask me to prank my dad haven't i have been through so much pranking my mama y'all want me dead y'all don't like me y'all want me dead y'all want me dead guys mm, y'all want me. people are texting me people are doing everything they're like please prank your dad guys do you want me to die or do you want my dad to die because definitely one of us is going to die the Okay, anyway, let's get into today's video. Today's video, we are talking about God blessing the works of your hands. Pretty much, God helps those who help themselves. Weird from a Christian, right? No. <laughs> no, not weird. You know what? I've realized that people feel so entitled. So entitled to God's blessings. So entitled to things coming their way and they don't see no need to put in effort i am literally to tell you today that god helps those who help themselves god helps those who help themselves guys and i will share a little bit of scripture to try and support that but this is me coming to you guys to say today um God does not like lazy Christians. God does not like people who don't want to do or put in some work. Listen, you might be a Christian, but it is very important to have the mindset of a hustler. Hustle. Christian hustler. Because you know what? A lot of people are so dependent on the fact that someone else is going to give. Someone else is going to do this. God will provide. God will provide if you start moving. Do something. Please do something. Do something. Do something. Anything. Do something. Like there are people with qualifications out there and they're out there in the streets hustling like dropouts. There are people, they're selling fruits. They're doing a lot of things. Please do something. Yes, um, you studied so hard and things aren't working out. Please do something. Bazalwane, we are all trying, doing our little tiny bitsy and trying to do what we can and to make ends meet. You know what I mean? So, because I always say to people, Nem, you are literally chilled in your corner. God's going to chill in his own corner. You know what I mean? He's going to relax in his own corner. But let's read the scripture from Deuteronomy 28 verse um, 12. It reads as follows. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse. To send rain on your land in season and bless all the works of your hands. Which means that you need to do something. It you will lend to many but will borrow from none. That means that God is literally here prepared. I am here. I am God. I am prepared to send rain to your land. 
but then you are literally there chilling and not planning on getting any seeds and planting anything so what must i do with my rain what must i do with my rain so basically what i'm trying to say is it's very important like move move do something anything do something do what you gotta do the moment you begin to take the first step in fact taking a first step is even a sign of faith like taking the first step forward god will also take 20 steps but then you just need to move you can literally chill in one position and expect god to create miracles for you god loves you god has plans for you as promised god is literally there and always ready to back you up but what is he backing what is he backing what are you offering that um god can back you know what i mean guys you can't go to school and then be like okay god please help me with this test mogel batong you did not start so now he must perform miracles please do something like help assist god towards blessing you do something take some action do something and in that way you will see god moving on your behalf you move so god can move 20 times more and then the other the scripture says that um you will lend um to many but will borrow from none it means that when god begins to bless you when god begins to send rain to your land at no given time will you lack you just need to keep it moving you just need to keep it moving it's a matter of um transforming your mindset guys how we are told that when we were born we were born closing our hands then you get to f or ufigem slaveni and then now but see and at the moment you begin to open your hands you are literally literally preparing yourself to receive and to receive but the same thing practically these hands god created them to move God created these hands so they can do something, touch something, do something. So that's why I'm literally here to say to you today, God loves you, but you need to start doing something. Yes, you're depressed, but please move. Do something towards... Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, do something. I don't... Do something towards building yourself. You always need to take the first step you and metric you need to go to varsity is god gonna apply on your behalf no you want to start a business is god gonna write a business plan on your behalf is god going to research on your behalf no please do something so god can bless someone who is in actual fact deserving of the blessings you know a lot of people are so focused on god's responsibility towards us but they completely neglect the fact that they also have a responsibility towards God. But then this is my closing scripture from Psalm 90 verse 17. It says, may the favor of the Lord, our God, rest upon you. Establish the works of your hands for us. Yes, I am saying this to you today. May God establish the works of your hands. Unkul unkulu, I, I hope and I pray that he builds something out of you. But then you need to begin to move. You need to begin to speak if you have to speak. If you want to open something, begin to work towards that. You want to be a public speaker. What are you doing to enhance that? What are you doing to build that career? You want to own a business. You want to be this multimillionaire, whatever. What are you doing? Start small and see where you are going to end up with that. This is it for today, guys. That's all I wanted to say. There isn't much. Happy Monday happy week enjoy the rest of your week i love you guys thank you so much for tuning in and please subscribe if you have not subscribed follow me on the re on my social media platforms i am juicy naile on instagram and i am juicy naile on twitter on facebook i am naile puleng i love you guys and thank you for wa watching what, 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 what. thank you for watching and i pray that god blesses all your efforts god blesses your doing god blesses the works of your hands i love you Mwah.